Welcome back. So my next task was to get the window bonded into the window frame and then have that bonded onto the door. So here you can see I've got the window itself, the acrylic, just clamped in place inside the frame that we laid up ages ago uh, just to make sure it's all sitting nicely. And here I've got it now sort of with the uh, frame there clicoed into place and also with the outside trim there just to make sure it's sitting uh, again nicely in the door. And here I've got it off and uh, it turns out that the door, upper door skin there needed to be trimmed a little bit more to match up with the roof line. So you can see I've got a, I've got a black line on there and I've created a little template that allowed me to kind of rotate it because it was fine on the front edge but the rear edge needed to be moved up a little bit. So uh, my next job is to cut that. And so with the template in place I just put a mark along there with a, um, a black marker and just trim that off. And this is already showing it already trimmed off to match the template there. So now it's a little bit shorter in terms of height on the top. Anyway, more on that in a minute. And uh, meanwhile, Jim is working on getting the last of the fuel lines. Now these are the fuel returns for the heated fuel system. Um, going back into the tanks, he's hooking those hard lines up there behind um, the aft pressure bulkhead so they can uh, run out uh, underneath um, to where the engine compartment is. And meanwhile, Jeff's busy laying up the first of the lower wing skins. And so this is the uh, right hand lower one and you can see he's got the first layer or the, the outside layers there of carbon fiber in place and he's just smoothing those out. And back on the door, so there's the, over, the upper bit there. So now the next thing I have to do is cut out um, the bit there in between the hinges. And so I just basically traced around the door frame onto that piece and then um, put some masking tape there along the line and then cut to that line. So that worked out okay. And here it is just sitting there on the door frame just to see how it fits up. And still need a little bit of extra sort of just trimming around the outside edge there but that won't come until we bond the actual skin on there. So Devin mixed up some high sol for me and uh, there was time to bond the window there to the frame so as you can see I'm just using a little plastic trowel there. Um, just to spread the high sole out nicely because we're only putting basically a 20 thou uh, thickness there because it's such a, a tight fit with that um, frame there to the acrylic so it didn't need very much high sole at all and unfortunately you guys don't get to see all the sanding and prepping and all that sort of stuff that goes in um, before actually you know bonding something in anyway so here's that um, that lower wing skin there so that's the first round of that one uh, under the bag there so that'll get the, um, the peel ply and stuff removed off and have the last layer put on it um, later on. And there's the window uh, bonded into the frame there with just a couple of clamps on there just to hold it down nicely. So trying to get a really good tight fit on there that's why we have all the clamps on there. It's a bit overkill but and it's better to have more than not enough. And meanwhile the guys have been working hard on getting these plugs all ready so you can see they've got uh, the 20 four of them laid out and they're just starting to lay down the top coat there for the first set and I believe they tackled 12 initially yep you can count all the ones that are black there's definitely 12 there so that means there's 12 remaining for the next go around so those need to get the lightweight uh, fiberglass put on them and then uh, later on they'll get the heavyweight layer put on so back on the doors, now that the window is bonded into the frame, it's time to bond that frame into the actual door frame. And uh, one of the problems that I had when I designed these doors was I didn't um, set up a really good way of indexing that window and window frame into the door frame. So, and now that I've actually done the first one, you'll see here, I've actually thought of some uh, better ways of doing this. So the one on the other side, I'll actually do a bit of a better job. But anyway, I've been using the yellow tape there to align where the window sits and hope for the best basically when it gets bonded into place. So here it's all prepped and uh, ready to have the high sole uh, put on the frame itself and then clamped into place. So this is what it looks like all clamped into place and you can see the yellow tape on the corners that's how I'm indexing it left and right and up and down because I'm trying to get like a 3mm gap in between the front window and this window and then a 3mm gap in between this window and the rear window and uh, hopefully you know just doing it this way I get it to align nicely but you'll see that uh, in a little bit and this is what it looks like uh, the next morning so this was Friday morning uh, with all the clamps off and it's all bonded in there 
So the next thing to do was test fit it up on the fuselage again and just see if um, it had any problems or see how it ended up uh, getting aligned. And again, this is Friday morning, so the guys are taking off the peel ply on the first set of molds that they did on Thursday there and in, uh, in preparation for putting the heavyweight layers on those ones. So that's the first 12 that are halfway underway now. And Jeff and Devin are laying down the second round of layers there on this uh, lower left uh, wing skin. And there's the lower right one there in the background that has the um, material laid out. It just needs to be wet down and then bagged. So they're getting these ones uh, finished for this week. And meanwhile our new aluminum pulleys with a few extra teeth there arrived um, on Friday. So these are with 89 teeth now. It'll give us a little bit better ratio. 1.58 to 1 reduction on the drive instead of 1.43. So the engine will rev a little higher and the uh, prop will turn a little slower which will work out well. And here's that uh, lower wing skin. The first one there all bagged. And uh, so that will be uh, peeled back a little bit later on. And we'll be ready for trimming next week. And you can see the guys are most of the way through getting the heavyweight layers down on that first set of molds for those ribs for the elevator and foreplane. And next week they'll be tackling the, um, the second set of those, the other 12, get those all done. Then they can start actually laying up those parts. And this is that second lower wing skin. And as you can see, the um, breather fabric's down, and underneath all that is the carbon fiber and the perf film, and then the breather fabric that you see, and then the bag that goes over the top of that to uh, get it all squashed down nicely. And this is what that looks like when it's under the bag. So basically, this week, uh, Jeff finished off uh, creating the um, two lower skins for the wings. So now we've got the uppers and the lowers, and next week, He'll be uh, pulling out the molds for the spars and starting to get those all jigged up and ready to lay those parts out. And meanwhile, Jim was super busy this week uh, doing the hard lines for the rest of the fuel system there. So you, there you can see the bulkhead um, pass-throughs there for the three different fuel lines there. And this is back in the back area there. You can see the different hard lines he's got in there. So you've got the main fuel feed and then you've got the fuel feed for the heat and then the, for heating the tanks and then the return coming back from that. So three different lines going out and back. And of course then they tee off and go into the, um, into the straight tanks as well. So a bunch of different stuff going on in there. It's pretty much got all the plumbing stuff done behind there now. Uh, just got to get the cables in place and um, it's all closed out or ready to close out behind there. And finally on the doors, got the door back on and uh, as with everything else with this, uh, these doors posed a couple of problems. Some of the locks weren't lining up again because the, the window bonding in actually kind of pulled on the door frame a little bit and made it not quite exactly the same shape. But anyway, it didn't take me long to get those pins all working nicely again. And then um, unfortunately my window ended up slightly out of alignment. Um, I wanted my 3mm gap on the front and a 3mm gap on the back and I got about 3 at the bottom on the front and about 2 and a bit on the top and I got about 4 at the back so it's a little bit wider gap at the back there and you know you, it's noticeable but I mean again just like all the other problems with these doors are just never ending but anyway I'll do a better job on the left hand side one now that I've had you know been able to sort of Monday morning quarterback and, and figure out um, a better way of uh, aligning that window. So overall we're getting close to finishing the doors and uh, tune in again next week and uh, I'll be working more on the doors, Jeff will be working on spars, Jim's going to be working on rigging and landing gear and the other guys are going to be working on something. Anyway, thanks again for watching.